You're listening to Saturday Morning Media. And now, back to our show. The Tales of Deputy Guppy is made possible by the Saturday Morning Media Patreon patrons. Patrons get to hear these shows up to a week in advance before their release, as well as special bonus downloads and behind-the-scenes access. Consider becoming a patron today over at patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media. And thank you for your support. Saturday Morning Theater proudly presents The Tales of Deputy Guppy! Return with us now to the thrilling days of not too long ago, when the West was wild and the rivers in the West were even wilder. Luckily, there was one fish to maintain law and order, one fish to reel in those who dare disturb the peace and tranquility of Driftwood Gulch, one fish to stand for truth, justice, and honor in the untamed rivers of the Wild West. Deputy Guppy! Today's adventure, the Flake Bread Bake Off. Every fall, the tiny town of Driftwood Gulch holds a fall festival. It is two days of dancing, frivolity, and most importantly, food. The highlight of the festival is the annual Flake Bread Bake Off, a good-natured competition that Deputy Guppy's own Aunt Pike has entered and won more times than anyone else. Oh, Guppy, I'm more nervous than a periwinkle at feeding time. Why's that, Aunt Pike? Because once again that no-good Constance Chiselmouth is entering her poor excuse for flake bread into the bake-off to go up against mine. If her flake bread is not as good as yours, as you say, why are you so worried? Because this might just be the year she figures out my secret recipe and takes home that blue ribbon. Now, Aunt Pike, you don't have much to be worried about. Your flake bread is the best in all the Western territories. Wouldn't you say so, Ringo? That's a fact, Aunt Pike. And I should know, I'm your number one consumer. (laughs) Oh, why, thank you, Ringo. Besides, I wouldn't eat anyone else's flake bread if you tied me up and starved me for a week. (laughs) Oh, Ringo, you sure know how to butter me up. (laughs) Well, you sure know how to butter up that flake bread. Come in. Sorry to interrupt, Deputy. Ringo, Aunt Pike. Hello, Essie. Morning, Essie. No interruption at all. We were just calming Aunt Pike's nerves about the big flake bread bake-off. Essie, I hope you're ready to write up an article about Aunt Pike's prize-winning flake bread for the Driftwood Gazette. Absolutely. Or at least I would be if there wasn't a possibility that the Flake Bread Bake Off is going to be canceled this year. Canceled? Dear me, why? Well, Mr. Cuddle was all set to judge the Bake Off, but it seems he's come down with a bad case of white spots. White spots? Well, that'll lay up a fish, but good. And it has. Doc Sturgeon has Mr. Cuddle in quarantine right now. He'll be fine in a few days, but his unexpected illness has left us without a judge for the bake-off. Well, what can I do to help? Well, as the festival organizer, it falls to me to find a replacement judge. And I'm wondering if you might want to fill the vacancy. A wonderful idea, Guppy. You'd make a fantastic judge. Me? Well, Aunt Pike, I mean, I'd love to, but... Well, wouldn't my being related to you make me less than impartial? No, no, no. I have all the faith in the sea that you'd be completely unbiased and able to tell that my flake bread is leagues better than Constance Chiselmouth's flake bread. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. What's that, Guppy? A battle I'd never win. Essie, there's got to be some rule about the judge not being related to any of the bake-off entrants. Not officially, but I do agree. There shouldn't be any possibility of impropriety. I can't believe you'd turn down being the judge for the flake bread bake-off, Guppy. Well, that's the kind of job I'd leap out of the water up onto dry land to try to get. Tasting all that delicious flake bread. Mmm, mmm. Ringo, that's a wonderful idea. It is? <laughs> oh, what is? You can be the judge for the bake-off. Me? Judge of the Flake Bread Bake Off? Yep. All you have to do is taste all the entries and award the blue ribbon to the one that you think tastes the best. 
<laughs> well, I'll be. This is just about the most perfect job I could ever have. Eating flake bread is my favorite pastime. <laughs> Heck, it's my favorite all the time. <laughs> I'll do it. That's excellent news, Ringo. We'll need you at the grandstand in an hour to start judging. I'll be there. Thanks for stepping in to help the town like that, Ringo. (laughs) Oh, shucks. I'm just doing my part. Ringo, I thought you said you'd rather be tied up and starve for a week than eat anyone else's flake bread. (laughs) Did I? Well, uh, oh, yeah, I guess I did. Uh, well, gee, Aunt Pike. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Ringo, don't worry about it. I know you'll be a very impartial judge. Oh, you could say that again. Well, I'll call it right down the middle (laughs) of the plate. That's right, and I'm sure you'll make the right decision. Uh, right decision? Yes. The right decision that my flake bread is far superior to Constance Chiselmouth's culinary abomination any day of the week. (gasps) See you on the grandstand, Ringo. Goodbye, Guppy. Goodbye, Aunt Pack. Yeah. Goodbye, Ed. Pike. Uh-oh, Guppy, what have I gotten myself into? I don't know, Ringo, but I sure wouldn't want to be in your scales, that's for sure. Uh, yeah. Ringo has agreed to judge the flake bread bake-off, but it seems he may be in over his head when it comes to picking a winner. Will he be able to choose a winner and not hurt Aunt Pike's feelings if her flake bread isn't the best? You'll find out next time on... <laughs> The Tales of Deputy Guppy! Episode number 211 of the Tales of Deputy Guppy starred Allison Mork as Aunt Pike, Chris Sheets as Ringo, Zoe Rose Palladino as Essie Grunion, Grant Pachoco as Deputy Guppy, and Kevin Burnson as the narrator. Sound designed by Christopher Green of Green Streams Studio. Find out more at greenstreamsstudio.ca. Music for this episode by Dan Ring. Say, kids, did you know that this episode of the Tales of Deputy Guppy comes with four new figures for your Driftwood Gulch action playset that are all ready for you to download, print, cut, and assemble? All you gotta do is head on over to DeputyGuppy.com and click on the link to the free PDF in the post for this episode. Once you add these figures to your playset, we would love to see a picture of them. Send a picture of your Driftwood Gulch action playset to hello at SaturdayMorningMedia.com and stay tuned for more buildings and figures coming with future episodes so you can build your very own Driftwood Gulch. The Tales of Deputy Guppy is a production of Saturday Morning Media and made possible by the Saturday Morning Media Patreon patrons who've gone to patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media and set up a monthly pledge for as little as a dollar a month. Patrons get these episodes up to a week in advance, behind the scenes information, and much more. If you'd like to support this show and the other fun content from Saturday Morning Media, become a patron. Head on over to patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media and set up your monthly pledge today. You can also tell a friend about the show or leave the show a review on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. The Tales of Deputy Guppy is copyright 2019 Saturday Morning Media, Grant Pachoco Executive Producer, all rights reserved. www.saturdaymorningmedia.com You've been listening to Saturday Morning Media. Stay tuned, we'll be right back.